mother's sick of it all And if they don't give me room, well then I'll give them the wall I'm gonna smoke my tie The Pento Truck Series is back here at the Canadian Tire Motorsports Park for the running of the DC Solar 200 World Road Course Racing in the Pento Truck Series. On the poles, the 29 of Isaac Nichols trying to go back to victory lane in the Truck Series. Two's outside the 87 of Diego Yepes needs a great result here. Then 30 of Jack Kennerman with fourth, Sebastian Kukulon, and Jake Galloway rounding out the top five. They have Jeff Bright in sixth. Uh, in seventh, you have Levi Jones, Luke Rainey in eighth. Then Steven Taylor in ninth, and Alex Stewart rounds out the top ten. The rest of the field have Mathis Wells and Riley Spraley Tube. Then there's Steve Larker and Derek Hamill, along with Code Luigi and Stefan Baker. Then there's Lord Delano and Tim Gary. They have Michael Canto and James Stabilito. DJ Reed and second in points Colton Yoli is only seven points behind though. They have Tim Randolph and Marcus Sachi. Then Alan Bowman and Landon Lyons. Points leader Carson Bowers with Keith Stevens. They have Danny Lloyd and Michael Ferris. Justin Zidell and Jonathan Buford. Then Steve Morgan and Mike McDonald. And in the final row, Trey Rennie in the 18, with JJ Reed in the 8. To his outside. There's a starting lap for the DC Solar 200 here at Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. Let's get going with our starting command. Gentlemen, start your engine! Take a nice deep breath, buddy. Settle in, relax. Give your seatbelt slow tug and tug under steering wheel one more time for me. Good luck, bud. We'll see you at the end of the deal. And our 36 truck field rolling off the starting grid here for the start of the DC Solar 200. A track which used to be a Pencil Truck Series exclusive has expanded to the Target Series and Gary Cup Series where they will race the next two days. And because of that, the race has been shortened by 50 miles by three laps from a 16 lap race from the DC Solar 250 down to a 13 lap DC Solar 200. It'll still be exciting, it'll still be wild. It'll be 36 laps of action. Every race here, the, the driver who's led the most laps has not won the event. So we'll see if that can change here today. Nichols on pole, yet Pez 2 is outside. Uh, the final corner to the restart, restart zone. We're racing here at Most Sport. Yepes and Nichols battling hard for that top spot. They're side by side for half this lap. But it looks like Yepes might be able to get right there off the top side. Nichols, Nichols got to drive it off into this corner like his life depends on it. But Yepes clears. Nichols back to second. Diego Yepes leads the DC Solar 200 here on lap one. Nichols drives it hard into the corner. Trying to get to the back bumper. The 87 can't get it done. He goes up the track. Here comes Jack Can around with the 50 for a second. Got a great run there off that corner. Some contact back there. Looks like Jeff Bright and Jake Galloway rubbing fenders. Keep it going straight. Yepes pulls away from this battle for a second. Cameron trying to get by Nichols. In this race last season, we saw a side-by-side -side photo finish. Dylan Mills beat out Landon Fenway in a battle that ended up being about the, uh, the, the advantage being about the nose of Mills' truck. Will we see something like that happen here today? Could definitely happen. This race is usually exciting. Sebastian Cook off the track. Here comes Luke Rain, the 88, trying to get his way inside the top five. More importantly, he's trying to gain a ton of points on 10th and points to get up there and get into the chase. He's made the made the chase the past season, past few seasons, and he's looking to get back to the Pencil Truck Series chase. But got really loose off that corner and falls back a few spots. Jeff Bright just got around. Galway got around. And Alex Stewart looking to get around as well. So front few single file. They pull away. Alex Stewart on Luke Rain, but Luke clears. He's gotten back down line, but lose some positions. Here comes Levi Jones in the 22, trying to stay have Alex Stewart, trying to keep his way inside the top 10. Right now they're battling for 9th and 10th. Steven Taylor, Mathis Wells, Derek Hamill, and the rest of the field single file on back. And Levi Schoen's still up the racetrack, still trying to stay clear of Alex Stewart. But looks like that 28's going to get right there. Schoen's going to fall back to 10th possibly. He's keeping it hard to the inside lane. But Stewart, I think, has the nose right there. He's going to be able to keep it ahead. So we look back up front, single file. Right here, this is the corner where you can make a lot of passes. Yeah, Pez really messed up that time. Nichols trying to get to the bottom. A little... Yeah, he could not get the power down off the corner. I believe Yeah, Pez going to stay clear. But Nichols did close in that time. Pulled away from Canorama as well. That's a corner where you can make a ton of passes. If a driver messed up that corner and goes a little wide, you can get a great run down this straightaway. But Nichols could not get the gas. Could not put the power down. Maybe spun the tires a little bit there off the corner. Got a little too anxious and 
They stay nose to tail for now, but Nichols definitely did close in because of the mistake Yepes made. And we'll see that throughout this whole race. The driver will mess up there and the pass will be made. Let's see, look at Nichols here on the back of Yepes. This is right where the pass happened last season. Oh, caution out. Yellow number one, lap two. Race back, won by Yepes. It could have, oh, there's Baker and Sperly tube involved. And that's into the final corner. Yellow out, Yepes lies back. That's caution number one. Stefan Baker in the 19 truck torn up with Riley Sprayo Tube in the 49. Ballon Hart inside the top 20. Riley Sprayo Tube side by side with Lord Delano is going to lose that spot. And then Baker, I think, is just going to come up. He got a little too wide right there and kind of just comes up and clips the 49 Sprayo Tube and sends them both for a wild ride through the grass and then into this tire barrier hard hit for both of them. And it's probably going to take both of them out of the DC Solar 200. So tough break for uh, Riley Sprayo Tube, just caught an innocent there. And I think Baker might have just gotten a little too tight behind that 27 and a little bit up the racetrack. And Maybe trying to get too anxious, trying to get by that 49, but hard hit for both of them. So that brings out caution number one. Yepes led us back to the caution flag with Nichols right on his bumper. And he should lead us back to the green flag unless they come down pit road. If they do come down for pit stops, we'll come back. If not, we'll come back at the green flag. Coming back to the green flag, lap number five. Yepes out front. Three trucks retired. Danny Lloyd uh, was spun off track and hit the uh, tire barrier hard. That's why he's out. Riley Spray Tube and Stephen Baker also retired. 33 trucks on the lead lap. Yepes leads it in the A7. Nichols second, came around with third. Kukulon fourth. Galway in fifth. So into the restart zone they come. And we're back racing here at Mo Sport. Big move there by Nichols. Looking to the inside already. Off in the turn when you came around with them in the 50. Side by side. Nichols in the 29. Trying to get by Yepes. Back there, they're three wide. Still side by side. No one's given an inch. Exactly how they were on left one. Side by side. Now came around with giving the help to Yepes. How's this corner going to go? Nichols drives it hard, buries it to the bottom lane. And the 29 truck, can he get clear of Yepes? He's trying. Still side by side as they come down the hill. Side by side through this corner. This could be very tight right here. They could make some contact. Nichols gets away. Is he clear of Yepes? Nichols clear, but the yellow is out. Caution is out again on the restart. Side by side for third, side by side for fifth. That's Kukulon on Canorama, Luke Rain looks like on Galloway. Nichols pulls away. Kukulon wants to get up to third here for this restart. Looks like Luke Rain's going to get up to fifth. Still side by side as they come out of the long straight went to the final three corners. Looks like Canorama might want to let Kukulon go right there. He does. Kukulon to third. And we're coming back to the caution flag. Yellow number two just after we got the restart. Nichols will lead us back to the caution. Yepes second. Once again, trade spots. And it may have been DJ Reed in the 33s. All torn up. JJ Reed's a little slow there. Keith Stevens is a little off pace. Marcus Sachi has some damage as well. So this could have been a big incident there. But DJ Reed, the one with the most damage. So we'll see what happened. This was definitely a big, big wreck. DJ Reed coming off the corner. Marcus Sachi behind him. It looks like Sachi just kind of comes up and wipes out the 33 of Reed. And they go hard into this wall right here. They come up, they get Alan Bowman. Nowhere for Bowman to go. He got some side damage there in the 33 spin around. James Stabilito. There's Sachi getting hit again. There's Mike McDonald. Who's that? Uh, Jonathan Buford. There's Keith Stevens going around. Looks like Colton Neal drove through the middle of it. Same with Trey Rainey. Look at JJ Reed getting into it. Zydell spinning off there. A pretty big wreck right there for so many trucks involved. There's a big crash at the back of the field. That definitely had to have been a yellow flag. Yeah, Bowers to the points there right ahead of it, so. Great job by that, and Colton Neal did a great job driving through the middle of it. He's only seven points behind. Look at him go right through the middle of that. Trey Ringy as well did a great job. Was that Ferris that drove through as well? Well, going aboard with Colton Neal, he's had the points for most of the season. Now he's found himself seven points behind uh, the 16th Bowers. He does a great job here avoiding this crash. This could have taken him out of the race. Great job by Colton Neal there. He didn't really, didn't really, uh, Panic there, just drove through it. Trey Rainey followed him through in the 18. Yeah, Trey did a great job there. He got some damage to the side, but he should be fine after all was said and done. Marcus Sachi is up there in points, and he gets some pretty heavy damage from this. It goes hard to the wall. Made some contact there with Reed, and that's a hard hit into that wall, and it gets hit again a few times. Hard, hard break for Marcus Sachi. This could take him out of the running for the chase. Well, not really out of the running, but it could definitely drop him down in the points. And one more on board, James Stabley on the 75. He was definitely involved in this as well. The season crashing, they come back up the track and can't 
couldn't go anywhere. Kim Garris to his right couldn't do anything there. He couldn't move more to the right. It's a pretty heavy damage for both the side and the front of his truck. So yellow's out. Isaac Nichols gets the lead back. So he started on point, didn't even get to lead a lap. He gets by Yepes on that restart. And he's possibly at least back to the green flag. Coming back green lap number eight. Nichols out front. Only truck to retire from that big one was DJ Reed and the 33. We still have 32 trucks on the lead lap. Isaac Nichols leading them. Diego Gapez in second. Sebastian Kukla on third. Jack Cameron on fourth. Luke Rainey rounding out the top five. They have Galloway, Bright, Taylor, Shones, and Wells as the top ten. Here they come off the final corner to the restart zone. Yepes going to try to do the same thing that Nichols did to him last restart and does a great job at it. Green flag back up, but Kukulon moves low first. Look at Yepes trying to get down block. They're three wide for the race lead. Tight racing at the front. Kukulon going to go from third to first. Or he's trying to at least side by side with Nichols. Nichols down low. Kukulon up top. And the 29 gets clear. But Kukulon going to move to second here as they come into this corner. Tight right hander. Luke Grant the track as Jake Gowie looks to his inside. Kukulon gets clear. He's now third. Karam, or second, excuse me. Karam going for third. Luke Grant gets clear right there. He has a huge run to the side by side battle. Yepes going to do here. The A7, he gets clear for third. Luke Grant, Karam with side by side for fourth. Yepes looking to the inside for second. Gets to the inside. Kukulon. Rainy up the track as well in the 88. Yepes back to second. Kukulon falls to third. Galloway back up inside the top five. He just passed Luke Rainey. And this is a long show where a draft means a ton. So you want to get that draft of anyone to try and draft up onto the car in front and make the pass. And with these big rear spoilers that these trucks have, definitely get a large amount of draft. Came around to the back bumper of that 32 of Kuklon, almost giving them a bump through that corner. Their side, or uh, nose to tail here. Nichols has really checked out from Yepes. That's what he wants to see. He wants to pull away. Oh, truck off track. It's the, was that the 60 of Jeff Bright? who just spun around the five of Steven Taylor. Is there a yellow? No yellow yet, we're still racing, still green flag. Taylor is off track, Bright is in the tires. They were both running top 10. We still don't see a yellow flag, we're still green flag for now. But that has definitely taken out some of the drivers inside the top 10. It's allowed some others to try and move up some positions to get into the top 10. Carson Bowers in the 16 is flying through the field. This showing why is your points there. He's currently scored 13th. Colton Yell is further back in the 10 truck. He's currently top 20 in the 20th position. Back up front. This is the corner where Nichols can mess up and Yepes could get there. We'll see. But this time Yepes messes it up. And Kukul, I think everyone really did inside the top five. The only one that didn't was Jake Gow. We just got Patty Jarek. Jack came around for a fourth. Now Luke Rainey looking for fifth. Gow, we could have a say in what's happening here before it's over. Looks like he has one fast hot rod at the front of the field. He's got to get by Kukulon, Yepes, and then he has to get by Nichols. Still side by side for fifth. Cameron and Luke Rain, they're side by side. Rainy with the inside. Cameron a little bit up top. Was the 50 let the 88 go? Looks like he had to at that point. Luke Rain back up inside the top five in the 88 truck. And Kukulon now looking for second. He goes up the racetrack. Galway charging around the bottom. Four laps of racing to go here in the DC Solar 200, led by Isaac Nichols in the 29. There's Taylor coming up here on the five with his damage. It'll be a lap down. There he is coming off inside the top 10, but he is, of course, one lap down to your race leaders. Can Nichols hold on? He started on pole. He's trying to make the chase. Yep, he's trying to make the chase, but a win could definitely help him towards that. Nichols will be a second win of the season. That would be big towards his chase hopes as well because he could definitely get a wild card in that if he doesn't get top 10 points. Once again, this is the corner where it's really going to depend on a lot. If Nichols overdrives the exit of this corner, Yepes will be there. Nichols did it great, but Yepes did as well. No one making moves. Galloway went up the track with everyone behind him also chasing up the track. And the battle could be for a second. Kukul looking to the inside of Yepes. Just get back up in line and stay single file with him, trying to run down that 29. Single file at the front. But it's the battle for a second that's raging on as Nichols trying to pull away. Exit that battle for a second from afar. Yep, Hez has it. Kuklon wants it. Coming three to go now. Three laps left here at Most Sport. And no one within range of Isaac Nichols. But Yep, Hez. 
could close in, just takes one little mistake through that corner. No real battles inside the top 10, everyone minding their P's and Q's. There's the battle for 8th, Alex Ewer and Levi Shones. Shones is right in the back bumper. Joel Allen right now holds the top 10 spot in 10th. And Bauer still uh, scored 13th, he's doing a great job there. And Yo, I think, has moved up a few positions. He's up to 18th, so to make his way forward and could lessen the, the points that he loses here today. Let's see, does Nichols do a great job as he has the past few times getting through here? He does, and Yepes is the one that messes up. And everyone behind Yepes messed up as well. Nichols will pull away even more. Levi Schoen's back there first spot, and Alex Stewart, that's for 8th. Schoen's in the 22, trying to re regain points after losing some the past few races. There goes Luke Rainey for fourth on Jake Galloway, the 88 truck, and the 21 side by side. It's a long straightaway. It looked like the 88 had a great run off that corner with a great launch. Be able to grab fourth right here. He gets by Jake Galloway. Galloway back to fifth. Luke Rainey up to fourth. We're coming to see two laps to go, and Nichols has checked down the field. No one near him. Two laps left. Nichols has to run his own race, and he'll win here at Most Sport. He's doing a great job out front. No one, no one pressuring him at all. No one's near him. He has to run his own race. Don't overdrive the corners. Don't overdrive that one corner especially because you could definitely lose the lead just with one little mistake there. Front few have pulled away. Front six. Seventh on back. A big log. James Meth as well as maybe holding up Stewart and Shones. And Delano still in the battle with uh, Derek Hamill as Taylor is right behind the 27 with some fresher tires. So it could move around the 27. Don't know if that's going to happen or not. This battle for a second. This could be an entertaining battle. Diego Gapez has it, but Kuklan definitely wants it at this point. He just wants to get around. Nichols once again down to the bottom lane of that corner. That's what you need to do. Kuklan up the track. Everyone up the racetrack. But Jack Caramo didn't go up the racetrack. He's going for fifth. I'm right, Jake Galloway put the 21 day great job blocking out that 50 right there. And Yapez gets away from Kuklan as Caramo looks for fifth. Back here side by side for eighth once again. Levi Schoen trying to get by Alex Stewart. Lord Delonga trying to get on here and get a position, steal position from Stewart. Schoen pushed by the 28. And Delano in the 27 now. Spin! It's Alex Stewart! Off track! Is the yellow going to come out? Will we stay green? Nichols took the white. But the yellow is out and that's it. Nichols doesn't have to worry about it. He can just coast it around and win it. Stewart spun out of the 28 truck and it will be over. It's going to be Isaac Nichols winning. And Carson Bowers muscles his way to the 11th position at the end. Yellow and it's over. Nichols going to win it in the 29 truck. We'll see the crash of Alex Stewart and then we'll see when the yellow came out. Alex Stewart was in a really bad position here. He's in a pack of four trucks and he's up top. And here comes Steven Taylor, the lap truck. And he just kind of slides up and gets into Stewart. And around goes the 28 from a great position there. And he'll spin off into the tires right here. And the yellow comes out right there. A hard hit to the tire barriers stopped in that. And the yellow, when does it come out, is the question that I think all of us are wondering at this point. You can hear the spin. There's the yellow on. Nichols was a few truck links from taking the white flag. So no matter, no matter what, the others were so far behind that. If Nichols had even taken the white flag, he would have been the only one racing back. Everyone else would have been slow. So it's going to be Isaac Nichols' race from the pole. He's going to win here at Mosport. We'll come back at the checkers. Isaac Nichols has just taken the checkered flag. He's just won the DC Solar 200 here at Mo Sport. He just beat out Diego Yepes, who was his biggest challenger all race. Let's go check the finishing results. Here are the finishing results from the DC Solar 200 at the Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. There were three caution flags for five laps and two lead changes among three different drivers. As Isaac Nichols leads the most laps, nine to get to victory lane. Diego Yepes ends up second right where they started 1-2. Sebastian Cook on third, Luke Rainey fourth, Jake Galloway fifth. They have Jack Henry on sixth, Matt as well seventh, Levi Shones eighth, Lord Delano ninth, and Derek Hamill gets the final top 10 spot. He ends up 10th. There's your top 20. How about Carson Barris up to 11th after starting 27th here today? He moves up to 11th and extends his points as Colton Yell ends up 17th. Not bad for him. Could have been a lot better though as well. And Nichols breaks that string of uh, people not being able to... Uh, not being able to uh, lead the most laps and win here. Down the rest of the field, 28 trucks finished on the lead lap. Let's go look at the points. Here are the points standings as we head from 
Canadian Tire Motorsports Park to the next race. Carson Bowers extends the points lead up to 25 points over Colton Yeo, who is now second. Diego Lopez has a solid spot in third. Marcus Sachi fourth. Steve Morgan fifth. And John Beaver in sixth. Isaac Eagles up to the top 10 points seventh. It doesn't have to worry about wild card as of now. Jack Harrell eighth. Levi Schultz in ninth. And Tim Gary rounds up the top 10. There's your top 20. Mike McDonald's only 20 points behind the cutoff, but he has a win, so he's one of the wild cards. Riley Sprue took the other wild card by 19 points over Keith Stevens, but there are so many drivers outside the top 10 without wins. DJ Reed, Mathis Wells, Danny Lloyd, Luke Rainey, Alex Stewart, Trey Rainey, Code Luigi. If any one of them wins, they could steal a wild card spot from Sprue Tube or Stevens. Or say Nichols falls out. He has two wins. He could definitely fall out. So other winners land lines is 22nd, Stephen Baker 28th, Sadlio 31st, and Alan Bowman 32nd. I think right now Baker, Stabley, and Bowman know that their fates are all but settled. They're not going to get top 20 points, unlikely for them, but they still have races to try and do it. Our next one will be a throwback. We go to Myrtle Beach for the Chick-fil-A 250. I'll see you guys then.